This video is sponsored by codingskill.net. Please visit our sponsor. Let's write a program to compute the square root of a number. Let's say square root of n is m. Then n equals m square. We will use this property in the terminating condition. Stop and write the code that uses a loop. The method takes a number n as the argument. We need to return a number that is the square root of n. We will initialize the guess to 1 before we enter the loop. The terminating condition uses the property n equals m square. We increment the guess by 1 inside the loop. We return the guess value if it satisfies the square root property. This becomes the base case in the recursive version of the solution. Let's solve the problem using recursion. The size of the problem is n, the number of guesses. The base case is the smallest instance of the problem. It occurs when number of guesses required is 1. In this case, square root of 1 is 1, and 1 is equal to 1 square. This is the n equals m square property of square root. The square root function takes an argument n. It returns a square root wrapper function that has two parameters, n and guess. The initial value of guess is seeded as 1. This pattern occurs quite often in recursion when we provide a simpler interface that hides an interface with more parameters. The condition that breaks the loop in iterative solution is the base case in the recursive version. The recursive case increments the guess by 1 and it makes a recursive call to itself. We can make the square root program perform better than previous guess version that started from 1 and we incremented the guess by 1 by using the bisection. The guess starts in the middle. This reduces the number of guesses required. So this is the square root function using bisection. It's very similar to binary search. And we saw in the guessing game, the time complexity of this solution is log n. So the base case is the same as before. If the guess is less, we increment the guess. The minimum value becomes the old guess value plus 1. Otherwise, the maximum value is 1 less than the previous guess. So we have two recursive calls in this case that reduces the search space by half in each call. So we can reduce the number of guesses required by using bisection. Sign up for your free coding interview coaching call. Fuck. Sign up for your free coaching call by going to codinginterview.coach.